Hi, yes. yes. That is world-renowned violinist Judy Kang. She has performed with some big names in the music industry, real big. And her stylish pink violin has become her signature instrument. She joins us this Monday morning ahead of her next New York show. Judy, welcome. Hi, Good you to so have much. you back. Oh my gosh. So you are a total vibe. Mm -hmm. You're like a superhero violinist. Oh, you're so sweet. So I must know your origin story. When did you start? How old were you? I was four years old when I started, uh -huh. and I, yeah, I went into my first lesson, and I had uh, played my first piece and pretty much learned it that that day. So <laughs> yeah. wow. um, more or less, it yeah. did. Um, yeah, com like I would have to say, uh, if there's anything that comes more easily, it's a violin compared to a lot of other things that I'm not very good at. So. Okay. <laughs> now, did you start with the traditional violin because you're kind of upgraded now to this oh. style of violin? Talk to us about the transformation. So uh, it was basically uh, for a tour with um, Lady Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> so I. That yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, so I, yeah, I actually went into it thinking I was just going to play my acoustic yeah. and just do my thing like I usually do. But um, it, like during the rehearsals, it was like kind of clear that if there was going to be staging. I was going to be a character in the show. Okay. So it had, there was very much a visual aspect to it, mm -hmm. and I had like was very excited about that too because it's um, one of the few gigs that I felt like I was um, and incorporated a lot of um, my favorite things which is um, performing mm -hmm. um, dressing up yeah. and dancing too I love yeah. dancing for fun and just so it was kind of like a really cool sort of like opportunity to, with all that in the violin and that's how the violin came was really something that um, was very prominent in the show too right. so yeah so Gaga one of, of, of many yeah. big names who else have you worked with I worked with uh, different bands Lenny Kravitz um, Portugal the man mm -hmm. um, who else? Uh, Ruchi Sakamoto. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, talk real quick before we get to your performance about your Carnegie Hall show. Yes. yes. October 30th? Yes, it's October 30th. Yes. And Leah Michelle, amazing. I'm yeah. uh, very excited about it. Um, as you all know, she's an amazing artist mm -hmm. and singer and um, just really um, great opportunity to work with um, the Broadway as well. Like, totally. just Broadway is something that I've always enjoyed, um, like being an observer. And now just to be like more involved in it is just right. like such a fun experience and to play with her on in Carnegie is just pretty incredible. So I'm excited. Who was your dream person to play with? Uh, yes. To perform with? Uh, there's uh, there's so many, but I think um, David Gilmour is always just someone that yeah. really stood out. Um, and just because I love Pink Floyd so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, there's uh, definitely many legendary artists of that generation yeah. specifically. Um, and like a lot of artists these days that I find, um, you know, just diverse artists mm -hmm. from yeah. all different genres. So, all right, we yeah. want to hear you guys play. Yes. So you're performing a rendition of Unholy, right? Yes. Okay, you ready? Yes. Take it away, Take it away. Judy you. Kang, everybody.
Judy! That was awesome. Judy, Jake on the bass, awesome amazing job. job. Awesome, awesome, Thank awesome. You. you make a violin look like the baddest instrument ever. Thank you. Especially that one. That right? That's awesome. awesome. Take it still available? Yes. October 30th? Yes. Get out of me, bro. <laughs> so it's a workout. Sorry, it's like yeah. a full workout. Right, it's all good. Right, yeah. uh, you can hear more of Judy King's music October 30th at the one and only Carnegie. Yes. Hall. That is awesome. Thank you both. Thank you so much.